My name is Rodrigo. My name is Pierre. My name is Ankit Agarwal. My name is René Koop. My name is Christian Norde. I'm going to answer some of the most searched questions about the environment. If we know the answers. What is the main source of waste? I mean, it goes without saying that like, the biggest source of waste is humans because nature doesn't really produce waste, so it's all coming from us. And nowadays when we consume, we consume a lot of things that they are wrapped on plastic and that plastic is going to live in the environment for many, many years and the consumption of those goods are going to, to last us for a few minutes, hours, days, but not centuries. Yeah, so there's a bit of a mismatch between using indestructible materials for things that last five minutes. Does recycling actually do anything? Is this even a question? Of course, the world and the future will be based on circular economies where everything that goes in comes out and is, forms a circular pattern where it's recycled and reused. Oof. I think I'll leave this one to you, so... <laughs> What's the simplest way to explain a circular economy? <laughs> Well, in a circular city, there is no waste. So it's not about recycling, but it's about preventing waste at the first place. What is the best alternative to plastic? Depending upon your use case, there are many. There can be wood, metal, even glass. They form as a perfect reusable alternate to plastic. Should I go waste-free? Yeah, for sure. There's lots of easy things that we can do every day. So going to the shop with your reusable bags, carrying a, a reusable coffee cup. Uh, there's lots of things where um, it doesn't really kind of like need that much organization or, or, or life change to be able to achieve. So think as well that like for many generations, uh, our human society have been living without too much waste or without too much plastic. So, so we're supposed to know how to consume and travel and uh, yeah, be happy without having too much waste around us. Is a waste free world possible? Yes. Yes, it is possible. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't strive to actually go for that. So I don't think there's any other option to actually go towards a waste-free world. And I think we don't estimate the value of the materials we see as waste now in the way they should be valued. The waste in the, the context means it has no value. It has. So maybe we should just delete the word waste from the dictionary. Is leather bad for the environment? Leather is deeply coupled with the livestock industry. Together, these two consume around 27% of the Earth's freshwater supply, about 30% of the Earth's green land mass, and in return, these two industries give us the maximum methane emissions, which is around 33%. They're extremely bad for them. What can I do to live more sustainable? Not only look at yourself, but also in your work and in the things you do. You can't think the whole day in everything you do. I have to do it sustainable. So I think we need to also the system to help us make the right choice automatically, basically. I'm convinced everyone can make a change in their jobs. Even if it's not obvious, you can. So think of it, even if it's the tiniest thing, if we all do, we'll get there. What can I do to live more sustainably? Uh, I suppose it's is being conscious of what you consume and conscious about yeah, the, the behaviors that, that this involves and, and all the input that you bring to your life and all the output that you put into the environment. And, and I think we have certain responsibility as consumers, people in the, in the world, and, and I think organizations or companies, they have certain responsibility as well, or policy makers to try to be able to, to make this change and all together live more sustainably. It starts with simple little stuff, but if you're lucky enough to have around you uh, places that are encouraging reusable shopping with containers that you can refill, all of those little choices, every time you buy something that is coming from someone who's making an extra uh, effort to be sustainable, you're encouraging that kind of services or products to become more mainstream, more available. So uh, we all have a, a chance to vote with our kind of like wallet every day. And so it's really uh, everyday opportunity to try to go a little bit further with sustainability. Is a waste-free world possible? Well, yeah, definitely. Like uh, the world was waste-free before we arrived, so it's definitely possible. Can humans change enough to take everything into the natural system so that nothing becomes waste? I think that there's lots of exciting ways to, to do that. We're particularly excited about seaweed, but for example, being one of the ways to replace some types of single-use plastics. So we can look at nature for some of those answers.